News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Police in Progreso are being accused of using the pandemic as an excuse to stop people and ticket them. The alleged scheme to help bring more money into the city. The Texas Civil Rights Project suspects there was nearly 70 stops done in the city just to find people. This is all coming out because of a court case involving 18-year-old Socrates Sean, who believes he was wrongfully pulled over back in 2020. He had a two-year legal battle with the city of Progreso. The case was eventually dropped, and now he's countersuing the city. Channel 5 News has reached out to the city of Progreso. We've also left messages for the police chief and city manager. As of Thursday morning, we have not heard back. 18-year-old Rodrigo Villarreal will be spending the next 16 years in jail. He was found guilty of shooting a homeowner after he broke into their house. Prosecutors say Villarreal used a stolen gun to shoot the homeowner after he was chased out of the house. Thankfully, the homeowner survived. And the San Benito CISD community continues to mourn the loss of two athletic trainers. Robert Garza and Raul Ramos died in a car crash last week. The two were praised for their passion and love for all the students they worked with. The San Benito Athletic Department plans to create a memorial scholarship fund to honor these men. And turning now to weather, we'll see some sunshine today with temperatures in the 90s. But the hazy conditions will continue. Expect air quality to remain low. That's News in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.